It's a new day. All these people have jobs and pay their oh, bills. Disgusting. Stupid people think we want to watch this stupid stuff. Yes. Oh, great. Just tell our kids it's okay to have sex. When you do have sex with them, have sex with Just them. Just get off my TV. No, no. Barf. <laughs> Relationship, not outward bound. You better get go. this guy in a bedroom and find out what? what's going to be there. Oh my gosh, you can't watch anything anymore. It's just insane. It makes me so mad. You stupid, stupid people think we want to watch this stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. Oh! So, what's up with your dad? Same old, same old. I can't stop touching you. Stupid show? Do it now. It's a new day. Hester, I caught him on a really bad website. Man, it wasn't even that bad. There were women with no clothes on. Your mother's right. It was very bad, son. Oh, how you better start that Okay, okay, you, okay. Jack, can Jack settle down. Jack, Jack oh. Denise, settle down. All right, Zach. First of all, why do you think it wasn't that bad? Well, I'm not really, you know. Zach. I'm sorry, what? Sex. Oh, sex! Oh, my goodness. What? I don't even know what that's we're that's talking about, isn't it? Sex! Yeah, but Pastor, in front of a boy? Okay, you see right there? That's where the problem starts. Look, Zach here's a normal, healthy, young, 16-year-old boy who's curious about girls and sex. Am I right? Well, yeah. Oh, my heavenly father. No. I'm willing to bet that that's all you think about, isn't it? No. Yeah. Denise, relax. Oh. This is normal. Sex is normal. Pastor! Cool. Oh, oh my God. Guys, this guys, stop. Look. Oh. Look. If Zach here didn't have these urges and desires, then he'd have something to worry about. Really? really? Yes, really. And he can't control him. He's 16. But God can. Now, what you three need to do is you need to sit down and talk about this openly. And Jack, Denise, most important, you need to listen. Oh. Okay, maybe this should be a father and son thing. And you, Zach, you need to take these urges to the Lord, not to some porn site, all right? What should we do about this, this sin? Well, to start, be very open about this sin. And remember, no sin is too black or wicked that cannot be cleansed by the blood of Jesus. You three need to let the Lord guide you through this. All right? You're going to be fine. Son, I'm here for you, buddy. Me too, son. Does this mean you're not going to take away my computer? No, we're still taking it. Yeah, you're never going to see it again. Dude, you're dreaming. <laughs> the best-selling book of all time. The most translated manuscript of all time. The most cherished work of all time. The most read volume of all time. Now, the most complete graphic adaptation of all time. The Kingstone Bible. The beginning. The patriarchs. Ten Commandments, the Judges, the Kings One, the Kings Two, the Exile, the Prophets, 400 solid, 400 years. solid years, then the Christ.
novel Bible ever, the Kingstone Bible. This three-volume hardcover Kingstone Bible includes the complete graphic versions of the Old and New Testaments. All three volumes are available for a donation of $85. Order online at upliftoffer.com or call toll-free 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438 and online at upliftoffer.com. Where do you want to go to lunch? Anywhere but Chinese Buffet. Oh, man. Greg, we ate there three times last week. Fine. Thank you. So, how did your counseling session end up? Well, it went all right. Mm -hmm. uh, we definitely need to be praying for them, though. Oh, I know. I mean, it's tough to be a teen these days with sex everywhere you turn. You're not... Oh. Hey, wait a minute. How did... <gasps> you were eavesdropped! No, no. No, 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 Craig. Now listen, these walls, they're, they're paper thin. And you, we have a big mouth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I tell you, Lori, mm. it's getting almost too much to handle anymore. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. I mean, that filth is everywhere. I know. Wait a minute, John. How do you know what we're talking about? Here? The pastor's counseling session. <laughs> I thought Denise was gonna faint when you said the word sex. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can everybody in this building hear me in there? No, not everyone. Well, well yeah, pretty, pretty much. much sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, Chinese buffet, anyone? What's up, bro? Oh, hey, Carter. Uh, just give me a second. We'll go to lunch. What you doing? Putting together a project for the teen group on spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. so I'm looking for some fun ideas. Any luck? Well, I just started, so I'm Googling different words. Here. Try this. Gifts. Oh, gross. Oh, I can't believe that came up just from typing in gifts. No, it gets worse every day. You're not kidding me. I mean, it's tough enough without the world throwing this this junk in our face all the time. Tell me about it. You know, you can't do anything without, well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you, uh, do you think about it? About it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, it. Yeah, sex. I'm talking about sex. Uh, Carter, uh, these, these walls are very thin. Well, do you? Um, yeah. I, I don't, um, do you? Sometimes that's all I think about. But I mean, what do you do? Do you talk with Mandy about it? Should we be having this conversation right now? If not now, then when, Pastor Flo? Um, I don't know. Carter, it's just... I don't want Mandy to think that that's all I'm about. <laughs> Pastor Flo, it took you three days to hold her hand. Another two to kiss her on the cheek and five more dates to kiss her goodnight. I'm pretty sure that's the last thing she thinks you're about. Come on, dude, let's go to Chinese Buffet. How'd you know all that? Carter. Hello, everyone. My name is Mike Moore. I'm a businessman in Dallas, Texas, and author of the book, Love God, Hate Church, Moving Past the Do's and Don'ts. This book, exalts the unconditional love of God above the rules and regulations and restrictions that most, not all churches, put on people. This is a great book for people you're trying to bring back to church, bring back to Christ, for millennials, for neighbors. You want to buy this book for yourself. Buy a box, give it away, because it's a way to get the message of unconditional love that we have in Christ to the world. Mike Moore's Love God Hate Church book is available for your donation of $20 to Uplift TV. Go to upliftoffer.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438 or order at upliftoffer.com. Suffering in. 
place. What inspires us has the power to change us, and what we remember can have lasting impact. That's why movies are one of the most powerful forms of communication, and it's why Parables is sponsoring Uplift TV to bring you the gospel through more than sermons. If you watch something that's faith-based and uplifting and actually inspirational, then it's a lesson. I just love a great story, and I like stuff that's going to inspire me, and um, I can actually watch it with my mom. <laughs> just have a good laugh or see things from a different perspective. Movies and documentaries, visual storytelling, and all faith-based. After all, it's the way Jesus taught, through sermons and stories. Learn more about Parables at ParablesTV.com. Hey, Frank. Got a minute? Sure. Make it quick. I've got a date. All right, I'm going to come right to the point. As we all know, our society is being plagued by sexual immorality. No argument there. Everywhere you turn, it's sex, pornography, and vile perversion of all kinds. It has taken harmless children and fooled them into believing that this is normal. You're absolutely correct, Pastor. Well, Frank, something needs to be done about this. I mean, people need to take a stand for our youth. Heck, for society altogether. I can't agree more. Well, well... Well, what? What do you mean, well, what? Well, what are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? Hey, wait a minute, you got a date? Hi, Dad, I need to talk to you. Yeah, sure, but first, you got any aspirin? There's some in your top drawer. Okay, All so right. there's this girl that I'm interning with down at the courthouse, I and she was saying that that was a problem that anything? she has, so I was what asking am I waiting her, for? what is the problem? And she said she thinks she's pregnant. Here's the bulletin answers you asked for. Who's pregnant? This girl at the courthouse. <laughs> Dad, you have to help her. Oh, what? what? I just think it's cute when she calls you dad. Lori, this is serious. Oh, I'm sorry, Kat, of course. Okay. okay, I take it, Kat, that this girl's not married? Dad, she's my age, and no. Her name is Britt, and she's really scared. Well, has she told her parents yet? Not yet. I want her to talk to you first. You do, huh? Yeah, sure, I'll talk with her. Cool. Okay, I'll bring her by after work tonight. Okay. Oh, did you guys go to lunch yet? Yeah, we just got back. Okay, I'm off to the Chinese buffet. Later. Oh. <laughs> Everybody gets to go to the Chinese buffet. Stop me. You're whining. <sighs> Child fruit cat. <laughs> so, what do you girls have planned for your girls only go time? You just like saying go time, don't you? I think it's pretty cool. Who do you think came up with the name anyways? I think it was Pastor Flo. What are you guys doing for yours? You mean our guys only go time hangout? Such a <laughs> dork. Hey guys, how much longer are you gonna be? Uh, only about a half hour. Good. Hey John. Yeah. Hey man, I got an idea. Why don't you come to my go time? Where are you going? Um, nowhere. Hey, you just said it's go time. Yeah. No, not it's go time. Go to go time. Yeah, yeah go time. Can we go? Not to my go time. But you just asked me. Not my go time. My go time. Okay, guys. Watch and learn. Guys only. Girls only. Go, go time. time. Oh. <laughs> Can we go? Yeah, I want to go to go time. Sure, but not to mine. Hi, you must be Britt. Yes, hi. Thanks for seeing me. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I took a pregnancy test and I'm not pregnant. Oh, you're not pregnant. Well, I'm very glad that you're not pregnant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but thanks anyway. Well, listen, since you're here, why don't you talk with me for a few minutes? Well, why? I just said I that. I know, I know. Listen, I promise not to lecture. Five minutes? Okay. Very cool. Okay, so this guy who was almost a father. Tank. <laughs> Excuse me? My boyfriend, his name is Tank. Well, not really, but that's a screen name. Screen name? Screen name? Yeah. Instant messaging. Internet? Hello? Whoa, you met this guy on the internet? He loves me. 
Oh, we love you. So you're getting married then? No. Yeah, Tank doesn't want to get married. Do you? Yes. Yes, I do. Pastor, why do you think he doesn't? Maybe it's because he doesn't respect you. What? How do you know? You don't know us. Wait a minute, Brett. You seem like a great kid. Brett, you had sex with this guy. I thought that would make him love me. Love doesn't begin with sex, Brett. It begins with God. And nobody can love you like he does. What should I care? I mean, you're making too much out of this. We love each other, and that's all I care about. All right. A little bit ago, you were freaking out because you thought you were pregnant. Why? Because. Because I'm not ready to be a mom, and Tank is... Tank is what? And maybe... All right, maybe Tank isn't the best person to be a dad. May are you happy? Oh, actually... I'm very happy. As a matter of fact, you just made my day. Mm -hmm. Mine too. Kat said you were kind of cool. <laughs> really? She thinks I'm cool? So, what do you think I should do? Well, that's simple, Britt. Don't have sex again until you're married. Period. I will think about it. Good. One more thing. Tank? Really? <sighs> Do you have questions about life? Are you looking for a different kind of inspiring television show? Well, join me, Janae Hill, for The Janae Show, a new show on Uplift TV. It's a reality docu-series that addresses everything from dating, self-esteem, and many more issues that we women face. It's a new look at Christian programming, and I guarantee you, you're going to love it. So I'll see you on The Janae Show. Give your children the reading skills they need to succeed in life with the world's first and only Bible-based digital Android reading program. Learning how to read and learning the gospel all at the same time. Bible Phonics Plus is a tool to use. Children learn letter sounds, letter names, short vowels, long vowels, blends, words, sentences, and finally written text. Next, they practice with Bible-based workbooks to use the words they just learned. And finally, they become independent and confident readers. We offer a suite of eight interactive apps, 17 app books, 33 phonics-based worship songs, four workbooks, eight reading books, 26 flashcards, and a seven-inch interactive kids' Android tablet with Bible-based games and entertainment. As part of this special Uplift TV Christmas offer, we would like to give you Bible Phonics Plus as a gift to you for your donation of $225 to the Uplift TV Foundation. To receive your Bible Phonics Plus gift offer, go to upliftoffer.com or call 844-7-UPLIFT. That is 844-787-5438. Whatever he tells you is a lie. What? what? Where are you going? You gotta retaliate. Do you know an eye for an eye? You might want to uh, destroy that like, in a permanent kind of way, buddy. Yeah. Your smiles are simply signs of how sacred your life actually is. He made you, and he is happy. You make the Lord happy. Come into this. <laughs> Go fish! <laughs> you know, this is pretty cool, playing cards, just the guys, doing guy stuff. Yep, good fellowship is important. Yeah, just the guys. Yeah, we're manly guys, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 they're hot. Use a napkin. You know, I can't believe I had all this stuff in my kitchen to make cookies. I'm surprised you had that apron. Yeah, not to mention the oven mitts. <laughs> I saw my stuff. I got these from home. Hey girls, thanks for inviting us to your go time. Thanks for letting us have it at your house. Yeah, yeah this is fun. <laughs> it is. It really gives us a chance to get to know each other better, help each other with prayer, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, and also talk about boy. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, Frankie. You're almost there. That's it! You just broke Pastor Flo's record. You, sir, are the
are the new nose blue champion of Merlin Church. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right, now what do you want to do? Well, usually we talk about our week, and uh, we always start with the youngest. Okay, I guess I'll go. Well, school was okay. Uh, grades are doing pretty good, I guess. But it gets hard sometimes. Well, you're learning, my boy. Always get harder. No, no, not with school. I mean, other stuff. Like what? You know, just uh, stuff. You mean, like girl stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's so tough with the way they dress and how good looking they are, you know? I mm know. -hmm. Oh, but we can't stay strong and get through this. Yeah, but with mm -hmm. the world throwing it in our faces everywhere, I mean, it's almost impossible. Wait, wait, wait. You guys go through this stuff too? <laughs> <laughs> what? You think because you're young? You're the only one who notices a good-looking woman? This is so relaxing. Yeah, I could do this all day, girls. Oh, Jack would freak out if he saw me like this. <laughs> do you guys always have to see us looking beautiful? Well, I think that some guys like to see us looking beautiful. But other guys? <laughs> I think they would just like to see us. Well. <laughs> well, Tank says I'm the prettiest girl he's ever seen. Do you think he means it? Yeah, of course. Really? Oh, after all these years, Jack still tells me that. Aww. <laughs> but I can't get him to take me to a romantic movie. You know, I don't like watching chick flicks with Beth because the women are too alluring. You know, my parents don't even let me watch TV at all. I can't even watch the commercials. Yeah, and you can't even watch a commercial on TV without seeing a half-naked woman. My dad freaks out about TV and movies. It's like he doesn't want anything like that in the house. But I like TV. You know, I like television. And I like going to movies. But nowadays they scare me. I'm a dad now. I don't want a cat falling prey to this stuff. But what can we do? What can we do? We can stop whining, take a stand, and stop watching the junk. Stop watching TV? Stop, Stop watching, watching movies. That's gonna be difficult. That's gonna be tough. Yeah, and Moses could have made it to the promised land if he didn't have to drag all those people with him. You know, I have a feeling Gray would have something really smart to say about all this. <laughs> Moses could have made it to the promised land if he hadn't burned a bush. Well, 